welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a get ready with me for you guys on this channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch it. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it more than you will ever know. And you know, I'm just going to film like a get ready with me for you guys today. I don't really know how this goes. I don't really know what I'm meant to be talking about, but we'll see. Let's just get right into the video. That way. Okay. So the first thing, I already washed my hands by the way. The first thing I usually do is prime my face with this milk milk hydro primer there's it does feel so long doing my makeup nowadays i remember when i was like in college i would literally wake up every morning and i'd put makeup on my face like now that i think back at it i'm just like why did i wake up every day just to choose stuff i had why am i making why was i making myself so fast so i wake up like earlier than I ought to as well just so that I have time to like put on my makeup just like for school ain't nobody got time for that now I love this primer mainly because like it's it's more hydrating than like mattifying and I feel like I like my makeup to look more dewy than matte because why so serious why 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 so serious like i feel like matte looks are always like so like cakey and stuff like that and like don't get me wrong that people who like matte looks actually suit so well like they actually look so good but i'm just not one of those people like I'm actually just going to go off and do my eyebrows off camera and then come back to you guys and do the rest of my okay i'm back guys and i actually think i did a decent job with my eyebrows because <laughs> i actually did my makeup yesterday and my eyebrows were not it they were not it. but i actually think i did a pretty good job today let me know what you think about my eyebrows in the comments down below and then also you guys let me know because i know they look like people who like to do their um who like to do their um eyebrows after their foundation and then there are a lot of people who like to do it before their foundation i'm one of those people not because of like i prefer it but because of like that's just what i've always been used to but let me know what you prefer and i'd actually like to like try it out like actually try doing my eyebrows after my foundation it will feel weird but i'd like to actually like to try it out because a lot of people say that your like your eyebrows looks better and they don't look so dark they look more natural when you do it after your foundation so um you guys just let me know let me know what you do anyways you guys if you see me leaning towards this side it's because like my um, makeup stuff is on this side so just it's okay it's all right anyways the next thing i'm going to go in with is my foundation i use the nyx can't stop me stop foundation these ones and i'm in the shade cappuccino and nutmeg so i usually like mix these two together so i'm just going to like do that at the back of my palm like i really want to get those like makeup thingy that they put foundation on like you know when you put your your foundation there to avoid like putting it at the back of your palm i want to get that one but this is too much foundation I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. And then I'm just going to put my nutmeg like that. Okay, so. I might raise um, my mirror. I'm sorry, but I can't see. I raise my mirror just to like I put it this side just to like see what I'm blending out 
and actually this might be another advantage to like um doing your eyebrows after your foundation because i feel like sometimes i feel like when i'm blending in my foundation and i've already done my eyebrows i'm always so scared so i feel like i'll one day i'll like i'll wipe my eyebrows out even though always you have to be careful but i'm not exactly the careful type i don't want to have like too much foundation on my face and if my foundation looks like a bit dark it's fine because i feel like when i highlight on contour it's actually going to like balance it out well hopefully 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 that's the case instagram has been crazy this last few weeks i don't know if it's just me but like that app i don't understand like every single day not every single day but yeah every single day that's what it feels like so every day there's something new like are you kidding me just last week it was Derek jackson and his wife this week is salty is it salty i don't i've never known how to actually pronounce her name i don't know it's i don't know if it's salty or salty and quavo i don't know but yeah the um video that the shade room posted of like i don't know I don't know if that one was abused. I don't know if she was abusing her because the video was a bit confusing because you actually cannot know what transpired. You don't know if she was actually beating her, if she was the one who caused it. Like I don't even know. I don't even know what to call it. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to um make of it. But I've been blending for a very long time now. And then next I was now like the video and trauma. Every day it always feels like there's one thing or the other happening on the internet like every single day there's one thing or the other something has happened the other one has happened this one has happened and it's just like crazy to me because a lot of these things like it's just men 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 i was just, i was telling my sister yesterday like why is it that men are just doing more harm than good police brutality men women being kidnapped and beaten up and raped and killed men men cheating on their wives men 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 everything like is it every day like is it actually every day and like don't get it twisted i know that women do most likely as much harm as men but like it just doesn't feel that way if me as a woman is feeling like this then there are there's most likely other women many other women out there who are feeling this way like it's just sad like it's actually so sad we hear about women who like uplift their men women who help their um, husbands or like brothers get to different points in life or different stages in their life or like you know help them break through and everything we hear a lot about that but all we hear about men towards women in the internet like all around us a lot of the times is they raped somebody they beat somebody i know that i prefer to movies a lot on this like on this channel but like just yesterday i saw this movie called clinical with my sister it's on netflix it's actually a good like psychological thriller i think that's what it is so you guys should actually like give it a watch but yeah I saw it with my sister and it just goes to show again what I'm saying about men like it is reinforcing the fact that these men are doing more damage than women <laughs> I don't sound like a man hater but really I'm not trying to sound like a man hater I'm just like I'm just this is just how I feel do you get like yeah the women who do bad as well but like more time it just feels like we always hear about these men and what they do so like this um clinical movie like, this teenage girl was basically messed up in the head like she was not okay anymore because from a very young age like she was a teenager at this point but like from a very young age her father like abused her and that messed her up like badly but 
I don't want to go too much into detail. Like if you watch it, then like yeah, it's so sad to see stuff like that. Or might it that the moment who put women down than actually uplift them? Like I feel like this conversation is something we have every day. It's a conversation we have every day on social media. But like honestly, I just feel like it's so sad. But yeah, you guys, please let's just move on from that conversation because oh, I know get strength. Notice how I didn't even go too much in, into detail about any of those topics about like the whole Derek Jackson thing because Like I remember like having a conversation with my friend about it and I was so pissed like I was so angry I didn't have so much to do today and today is a sunny day Today is like 21 degrees. Yesterday was like 21 degrees and it was like the day they were not like allowing like um, People to meet up in like a group of six I think outside so um it was nice like we all went out and we just chilled in the park and it was really nice it was really nice and then today is another sunny day and i'm actually meant to be going to london today to see my mama i just thought why not get ready and i might take pictures or maybe not i might take pictures i might not take pictures depends on how i Feel. we're gonna move on from that also let me know you guys do you prefer like a matte makeup look or a dewy makeup look i think i spoke about this in the beginning of this video but i don't think i asked what you guys prefer let's talk about like social media and by social media i.e instagram let's talk about that like you guys feel like you got into the point in your life where you feel like most things online actually don't affect you anymore because i actually feel like i have and this is mainly based on the fact that i know that a lot of people literally just like we've always said a lot of people literally only show you what they want you to see they don't show you like the negative part of what's going on in their life they don't show you like all their like successes achievements all the accomplishments all of that they never show you like how they actually struggle they, they didn't show you they never show you like the behind the scenes do you get let's say for example you're a brand owner or something like that and it's like this brand that you've always like followed on instagram and you really aspire to be them you really you get inspired by them and stuff like that and then you wake up one day and you just see that oh my god like maybe they made it to like one very big platform where you say oh my god they're so big blah blah and then you're just like oh my god that they haven't even been like running for like up to like two years three years and they're already so big and then you start feeling bad about your own brand kind of thing but like yeah like i feel like it's normal for that to happen but at the same time you have to understand that like you were not there when the ceo or the person behind that brand was struggling you didn't see all the struggles you didn't see all the rejections you didn't see all the no's they got told you didn't see like you know the battles they had to fight behind the scenes before they actually go like one big success story or before they accomplished something so big that the whole world was congratulating them because of like you didn't see all of that you didn't see all the struggles they had to go through do you get and another thing why i feel like i don't get affected anymore is because like everybody's um everybody's um grace is different you don't carry the, the same grace as the person next to you I don't carry the same grace as my siblings. I don't carry the same grace as as my parents, as you know, my friends. You don't carry the same grace as your church mate or your your um um course mate that like you don't. So you have to understand that your own grace is different and the next person's grace is actually also different. And you have to trust the timing of your life. Just cause like this thing had happened at this um other person's 
point in life or at this age in their life doesn't mean that god had said that it will happen at this age in your life as well like you have your own breakthrough at that same age like god might have planned that you have your own breakthrough at the age of like 34 or 30 like you have to trust the timing of your life like you're literally not the same as the person next to you your own journey is different you get so it's like when i remember all these things even when that comparison will happen even when like i'll feel bad about like maybe somebody else's life because i've seen it on instagram i catch myself immediately because i remind myself of, of all these things my time is definitely like different i don't feel like that's one thing we all have to carry in mind because i know that like in as much as like all of these things have been said a lot of times i feel like there's still people out there who still like need to hear it because people actually still do compare themselves to other people on social media and it's not healthy like you have to come to a point in your life where like you just have to be happy with where you're at in life and you have to like just be happy knowing that you are making progress and you're working towards something working towards something is better than working towards nothing do you get so like you're actually taking steps to actually get to where you want to be in in life you're not just sitting you're not just sitting or making progress yes you, you try stuff you try stuff and you fail but then again like you're still moving forward you're 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 making your 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 making plans and your your you're you're on a journey towards that path you want to be you know you're on a journey towards like the destination you want to get to in life you get and the thing is that i feel like a lot of times like even when we get to the point where we had wished that we were in like two years or three years ago we don't actually stop to appreciate the fact that we were we are actually where we wanted to be like two years ago we're always looking for the next thing like what's next like we are, we are not happy with where we are right now what's next what's going to happen next where are we going to be next what's you know let's move on kind of thing i feel like we should actually sometimes just stop to actually appreciate the fact that we've actually come far we've actually we've done it we've achieved a lot all those little little accomplishments all those little little achievements they've summed up to something basically do you understand so i feel like that should be where our mindsets are and another thing that has really helped me to actually channel like my mindset to thinking the way that I do is following a lot of like Instagram pages that just help to uplift people like you know I don't know if anybody actually follows me on Instagram but I feel like I post a lot of like stuff on my Insta story where it's like it's just like quotes not quotes per se but like I wouldn't say they're quotes are they quotes maybe they're quotes but like basically people just saying oh like just in case you, you nobody reminded you today or a daily reminder stuff like that so all of those things i post them i read them i internalize them do you get so like whenever i find myself being negative i catch myself and i'm just like um hell no like you're not going to be negative today kind of thing do you understand those things following those instagram pages that constantly remind me and i constantly see those things on my feed help me to like understand and know that you know you're not doing bad at life you're not in a bad place you're not the only one who is struggling at this point you're not the only one who feels this way at this point but you will get there like you will get there eventually everything you're hoping to have in this life you will have it eventually when you're working towards something expect that it will come your way all those things that you feel like you're having so much anxiety because of right now you feel like oh my god i just can't get it done you will get it done you will get it done and when you get it done you will look back and you will laugh about it i know that i'm probably like sounding like a broken record but like i don't care because i believe that someone out there will watch this video and it will help them to understand that they are really not alone like they are not struggling alone you know no matter how much you feel you always pick your you can always pick yourself back up you get life is really not that deep i mean it's deep but it's not that deep like 
we literally only have like one life to live so that's another thing i feel like i've been telling myself recently you have one life to live you literally only have one life to live and you i need to like literally be grasping opportunities like i need to live in the moment and take every opportunity that life gives me because the times that i'm in if i move past them i probably will not get them again like and i'll regret all the times that i could have been doing something or i could have taken this opportunity but i didn't just because of my anxiety or because i was worried or because i was i was too scared do you get like I, I i constantly remind myself these days to literally grasp every opportunity around me bars bars baby bars also i learned this thing from jackie she said like you're meant to allow like your you're not meant to but she said she allows her um concealer sit on her face for a bit and she did she uses a fan to dry it, but like i don't have my fan i mean i have my fan but i didn't charge them so i just this whole talking i've been doing i've just literally been letting it dry down a bit you know what i mean do you know what i mean do you know what i mean but yeah you guys let me know what you do to actually keep negative thoughts away like what do you do especially on social media because i know a lot of us like we find it hard to actually leave that up. example me i think i have to actually leave that up like i can't help myself <laughs> like don't get me wrong if i have to i will but like i'm just saying I just feel like I'm missing out on something when I'm away from the app for so long, which is bad. Which is bad. But if I'm going to be on that app constantly, then I need to have stuff that is constantly feeding my mind and my soul with positivity and no negativity. I beg. I legit just one peace of mind. That's that's me all day every day. I just want to be at peace every single day of my life. I want to be at peace, I want to be happy, I want to be loved, I want to love. But anyway, you guys, I only have like two bars of my battery left, so I need to speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. up. I'm really making a conscious effort not to be giving you guys a side view of my face. Because I've actually attempted to film, film this guy ready with me a few times. And that has not been a good look. So I hope I didn't do that in this video. Otherwise, I'm going to cry. I was watching Aliyah Jay's video, and I think she was just like, "You're meant. You're not meant to pack your your um, powder on. You're just meant to like make it look seamless." I don't actually watch makeup videos just for like to learn anything but sometimes when I watch like Jackie or like Aliyah J or somebody like I actually like get some like makeup tips from like not that deep makeup tip but like they actually kind of make a difference oh my god who has seen Lil Nas who has seen his most recent video I think it's called like Montero call my name or say my name or something like that that, that video is sick sick the visuals you know that video is mad forget and i know that like it had a lot of reference to, like the devil and stuff like that which a lot of us don't really ag agree with myself inclusive <laughs> but for real yeah myself inclusive now but that video was good. I won't lie. I watched it. It was quite nice, you know. Quite nice. It's a bit of me. Okay, so now we've got the powder on. This, my brush looks big. I'm showing you guys though you see it just know it is beat and I said it first before 
brushes look so hard. I don't really invest in makeup like that, to be honest. I don't really like update my makeup stuff. I can be using the same makeup for like four years straight, which is, I think that's probably like a problem. But for now, nobody really cares. But yeah, you guys, we're almost rounding this up. I'm rounding this up. And I hope this makeup is giving what it's supposed to be giving on this camera because, bitch. Next thing I do is I actually line my lips with the same thing I used to do my eyebrows. Wow. I can actually see my, like, I have a scar here when I was, like, younger. And I've not seen it in a while. And the way I'm positioning this mirror is making me actually see, see it. Wow. Can you see? Can you guys see? It's like a dent. Maybe not. Okay, you guys. I'm just gonna let it dry down and I'm gonna be right back with my montage. With my, like, you know, you know that one they do. I'm going to put mascara, but like, later. I'll put it before I come back with my montage. I'm gonna turn on the ring light as well so I can do all my shit. My lashes, I just put mascara and it actually just proves to me that my lash. I still have lashes because before this I had like um, individuals like individual lashes so I usually thought that I looked like a naked more rat and I didn't have like lashes anymore but like my mascara says bitch you do have lashes you do have you do have a little bit of lashes left but yeah okay so you guys this is the finished look my body is about to die some I need to do quick anyways i put on the ring light so you guys can see the finished look um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment subscribe all that good stuff and obviously let me know what you thought about this video and every single thing i said in this video right down in the comment section thank you guys for watching bye and see you in my next video you want me i need you you